They thought I was crazy at first. And a lot of people didn't understand why I was doing it or what I was doing until they started seeing the animals and things happen. The beauty about rewilding is it works. In a quiet corner of rural County Meath, Ireland's only recognised large-scale rewilding project is showing results. Going against traditional practice and against some strongly held opinions, the landowner here has given 750 acres of former agricultural land back to nature to rewild. Randall Plunkett guided a small group from the Irish Wildlife Trust around some of this land and I asked Lord Dunsany why he's so motivated and so determined to continue to rewild such a large area of Dunsany estate. Rewilding um, is many things, but for me it is the restoration of natural ecosystems through allowing nature to uh, find its balance. And um, the problem is, as, as humans, we try and control and uh, do a lot of delving in with nature. Um, and as a result, we're constantly battling nature, where rewilding allows nature to recover at its own pace and uh, usually with things restoring through plants growing and other plants taking over and eventually leading to a diverse species, or as a lot of people will say, biodiversity. Part of my job, part of my responsibility um, with this place, I consider myself to be a, um, well, if one likes to say, a caretaker of nature, or caretaker of this place. And I find myself being the caretaker of the estate as well, and that's nature. And I'm very saddened to see what's happening in the world today. Um, this is a green country, yet we're anything but. So I'm not one of these types of people who likes to complain. I like to do things about it. So I decided to take the most extreme action. I went into the world of rewilding. And at the time, I had no idea what I was doing. And yet, I didn't have to because nature does all the work. They thought I was crazy at first, then I was bohemian, and now I'm, should we say, uh, I've, I, I'm okay, I'm part of the status quo now. But no, it was a bit of shock, and a lot of people didn't understand why I was doing it or what I was doing until they started seeing the animals and things happen. They started seeing more birds than ever, started seeing more insects than ever. The beauty about rewilding is it works, and it's an efficient way of restoring systems without a lot of financial input. And the thing is, the, the default setting is biodiversity. Um, and if we allow nature to take its course, things can happen very quickly. Um, we just need to be patient. I think rewilding is a very interesting thing that we have still very little understanding of how nature works in reality and rewilding is still very much a question mark we could learn a lot from rewilding and part of that is being able to do things in a more um, better way being able to to produce food in a more efficient without destroying the land and rewilding is just the first step in the search and pursuit of knowledge and if we understand how the environment works, we can use the environment for our favor. And that is producing food, producing energy. And if we, use, if we work with nature, we can absolutely find that. But we have to find the science. We have to understand it. And we won't know that until we actually spend time looking at it and allowing it to happen.
the future is what we're going to make it. And uh, I know at the moment there's a lot of dragging of feet when it comes to the environment. I think we're going to have to have a lot of land disappearing with the ocean, a lot of scary weather. But I do think the, the consensus of a lot of people is changing. And I think we need to demand for things to happen. We need more forests. We need protection of ecosystems. We need to protect the sea. And rewilding is a fantastic tool and is the first step into changing this, uh, our system and returning it to a healthy state again.